Steve Cannon. Yeah, 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 yeah. he's a he's a loose cannon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just After, fucks a lot of people. He's a loose cannon. A Steve Bannon <laughs> cop show would be great. It would just Dude, end up it would him. be so good. He Obama be... did it every single time. <laughs> <laughs> This is FFPU, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Ooh, welcome back to FFPU. My name is Paul and this is episode 88 recorded on the 30th of the October 2018. And he's back, guys, after... I never left. <laughs> after not leaving. I literally and stayed on this and couch. And insisting that we should watch something better. Yeah, there was no way we could... <laughs> we, there, the last episode, funny to listen to, but the, the movie itself was yeah, please don't, bullshit. I hope you didn't... Uh, I hope you followed our advice and didn't watch that movie because damn was it dog shit. Like, Uh, if you ever if you ever <laughs> now like, that we had time uh, like to recuperate yeah. we even got madder at the movie <laughs> it's like it's, if you ever go to like get some go government paperwork and the experience isn't frustrating enough yeah just go home and watch that movie yeah. and you'll feel like you got your full money's worth <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, because we watched, uh, in this case, we, we as a palate cleanser, we watched something fun, something lighthearted, something, you know, with murder in it. With and scary <laughs> undertones of police incompetence, sexual yeah. malfeasance, and animal mistreatment. Yeah, all the good stuff. It's everything uh, we want. <laughs> everything we want rolled up into one. Huh. And it is Commissar Rex, season three, episode three, uh, Death in the Museum, Tod im Museum. Tod im Museum. The, Tod im Museum, yeah. Oh, so this is so exciting to me that uh, so, 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 uh, and finally somebody somebody who's who's some excitement at the, at the museum. I was excited. Yeah, well, it's got everything you want from a TV show. You got you got animal cruelty. Yeah. You've got art. Uh -huh. uh, you've got murder. You've, you've got, got Sexual weird -ass, frustration. You got weird ass weirdos. Yeah, you, got, you got Steve Bannon. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Steve Bannon has a cameo in this one. Yeah, yeah he is a, he is a, he's not a cameo. He's a main role in the thing as a fucking alcoholic lunatic, which is what so, he is. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, very, yeah. He's very a method little. actor. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's a method actor. Yeah, he plays one role for his whole life. Like he's gone downhill since the White House. <laughs> Like, since he had to leave the White House, he so now just hangs since he out. he traveled back in time to do this show. Yeah, no, he just hangs out <laughs> at museums now talking about giving bears peace. It's really weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave the creatures alone, yeah. And if anybody would want peace, I would not think it would be Steve Bannon. No, Both. yeah, 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 yeah. They should have Steve banned him from that museum. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> we, are also drink, dr 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 we are also drink now uh, we are also drunk now so at least me I, I have a bit of a buzz going oh, on no, I'm, I'm sober as man that uh, the alcohol can't penetrate the frustration from black death yeah <laughs> <laughs> my body's just shutting that down black death is the best cocktail that a friend of mine does <laughs> oh my goodness just it's got a you're little you're gonna bit. wake up with a lot of balls <laughs> under your armpits it's got a little bit of lime some ginger just a pinch of vodka and bubonic plague, plague yeah It's the genuine article. Yeah. It's banned in most countries that drink. Hipsters love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> since the 14th century, nobody had. had I like this since before it was cool. Black yeah. Death was never cool. I mean, it was infectious. <laughs> That's it. I'm leaving. Yeah, wasn't that joke? <laughs> that, that joke wasn't sick enough for you. Oh my god, <laughs> she never stops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep spitting, spreading the disease. Quit while you're ahead, that, man. That, that quit, sounds yeah, like quit, the, the beginning of a, of a... Ah, whatever. All right, so uh, what's the deal with this fucking Commissar oh, yeah, Rex? Yes, this yes. is a big deal here? Plot. Yeah, it is It is a fucking big deal. So anyone from Austria would know this show. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's super famous. We, we've covered a bunch of episodes before, but um, you're the first one that... I think the first American who's white that watched it with me. First American who's white. I think. Oh, no, there, there was a white woman before. Yeah, right, in, in Boston. In Boston. And she loved it. Like, she loved that movie. Uh, she that sounds show. smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a puppy and sandwiches. Oh, I yeah. can relate to that. Uh, I think it was a better episode than this one. Because this one is, yeah, there's a death 
there's one death in the museum and then one death outside the museum. Wait, one guy gets murdered also, for no reason. It's not death in the museum. It's murder in the museum. Yeah, but how many fucking plot holes are Can there in this have? show? Yeah. Like, it's just massive points of the plot are never addressed in yeah, this show. Yeah, it looks... Yeah, yeah. There's so many plot holes, it looked like a street in Denver. Yeah. The most unanswered question from the whole thing is how many Austrians in the early 90s owned leather jackets? <laughs> well, I swear, that was, it must have been bigger than Facebook. It was the Facebook. lettering. It was, like, it was the lettering. Yeah, they, they all... They all leathered up. Like, yeah, it, it was, it was, there's Mark Zuckerberg rich. There's Warren Buffett rich, and then there's then a guy the, who sold leather jackets in Austria in the, in the 90s, 90s rich. <laughs> that guy fucking owns it. He's a Rothschild. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how the family got their money. They were yeah, on the brink yeah. of bankruptcy till they started making leather yeah. clothing. Yeah, they, they made their pound of flesh. You have to admit, though, those leather jackets look good. No, those were, I no? don't have to admit that at all. They no? were not form-fitting. I think that They were one, wavy. There were the too many on pockets. The lady, on the lady photographer. It was too saggy and too many pockets. 90s, man. Y- 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 You're not into had, that look? Yeah, they had bad fashion in the 90s. <laughs> it's continued. They all, look, they all looked like they jumped out of uh, an extra... It's continued like, to be bad all, fashion. Uh, honestly, it is true. They all look like extras from Friends. Yeah, that's the thing. They all look like they could have been background actors in yeah, Friends. from season one. <laughs> like, it's like they all went shopping at a short at a store called chandler shirts <laughs> rejected chandler outfits <laughs> uh, that's austrian fashion in the 90s it's just hand-me-downs from from tv shows <laughs> that's how we dress in Austria. Like Commissar Rex and Friends share I mean, the same I mean, studio. honestly, at that point in time, I had, like, the coolest thing I owned was, a, uh, like, one of those uh, long-sleeve T-shirts that had the double the double sleeve. So it looked like you had a oh, shirt. Oh, like two shirts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you yeah. had that shirt under the shirt. Which like, was, what was the idea for that shirt? Like, were people supposed to look at it and go, look how fucking rich he is. He can yes, afford two shirts at, at the same, same time. time. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. That motherfucker's it, coined it. I had it. that, and it, it, had, it had in bold print the word download on it. Just download, because the concept of downloading was cool at that point. That, yeah, that's odd. Yeah. <laughs> it's very odd. Yeah, the 90s were weird, right? Somebody made that shirt. Yeah, somebody made that shirt and was like, hey, wait, that download print, not good enough. Yeah. What, what do we have to make it real cool? Is that a double cuff? Yeah, double cuff. Double cuff on everything. <laughs> like this I says, mean, they, they, for, for a short time, they, they went even one f- further and got the triple cuff. It, but it didn't... That's that, horribly misguided. Yeah, but nobody that nobody bought that. Like yeah. the, the, it existed like a, as a fl- Ex- flash Except of, the of wardrobe department at Commissar Rex. Yeah. There's probably an <laughs> episode like, where everybody's all got triple cuffs. Buy all, all of them. Before they're gone. Buy all of them. Yeah. <laughs> We can flip it inside out and re- reuse it for <laughs> a sci-fi movie. Fucking hell, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's... All right, it's a plot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, Not much of one. Yeah. Not, there's a guy who dies. There's... No, there's diamond smuggling. Yeah, but nobody understands, like, how, how the lady finds some diamonds... No, 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 no. She doesn't find them. So what happened is, well, she kind of finds them. Yeah, so, she finds them at the beginning. Yeah, She's yeah. trying to adjust the hair on yeah. the fucking bear. And finds out that there's like 1.8 million euros worth or 2, bi- 2 million dollars worth 15 million in shilling. Yeah, yeah. 15 million in shilling. Again, with, with inflation and stuff like that. I'm ballparking it. But around 2 million dollars worth right, of diamonds. Uh, that's plenty. That's, that's, that's good. That's good. And... She f- oh yeah she finds them she takes some of them yeah she takes like four yeah she takes four like, well, and this puts is, the rest back yeah she's like this is too wealthy and as it turns out it was a the diamonds are from a ro- jewelry robbery yeah seven years earlier or something like that three years or whatever get and, your plot together yeah dude <laughs> it doesn't matter so the, the the main robber was in prison for that time because they yeah. couldn't fully convict him i guess well you don't go to jail forever for just stealing a couple diamonds yeah and they never found the diamonds so yeah. there's no physical evidence of go. him stealing it i guess they weren't checking for bears yeah that, that yeah damn typical mistake of it's, poor slu- it's, it's poor sleuthing it's it's all it about is. the yeah I, I guess it's homophobia because they didn't want to check the bear maybe they're checking the bear in the wrong spots yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah got go uh, no diamonds to, up there yeah <laughs> yeah assume the position bear you'd have to be a necrophiliac bear lover yeah <laughs> fuck that that bear yeah uh, <laughs> yeah they, they, 
I mean, they're thick skins. They, they, they don't get hurt uh, feelings that, that fast. What was fascinating to me was just how bad the police work it, and it was. Like, even in the opening credits, my favorite thing is like there was a this dude had a fucking knife that had clearly been used to murder somebody. Uh-huh. He's holding it with without the gloves strawberry on. strawberry jam on it, yeah. Yeah, he's like, he doesn't have gloves on, so no problem with the contamination there. He's got bifocals. Or he's got those little fucking tiny yeah, yeah. glasses that old people wear. And to figure out who did the murder, he's just staring without his glasses at the knife very intently and just piecing all these clues together. Yeah, no, that's that's how you do it, man. That's how... Yeah, before, fuck, before, C- fuck before CSI. CSI. Before you have no, CSI. CSI yeah. can go fuck themselves. Yeah, you just have just a guy give it a look. intensely staring at... Yeah, that's before enhanced. Zoom in enhanced. Just, I can Im- he physically zoom in enhanced with his eyes. He's just like... <laughs> nah, that, he was dude, probably that just looking at it. enhanced back then was just... No, he just had it, and he was like, okay, I got it. I bet it was immigrants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like, immigranty. <laughs> yeah, he's, for, for a second, he's like, Carl says that the Jews do it. Yep. And then and then his other voice is like, no, she, she shall never find out what my true feelings are. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I don't know what who it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was like basically him. <laughs> so yeah, bad police work all around. Mm-hmm. And then, we- which is not not surprising oh. for because they have to dumb it down so that the dog actually can help. Just that's, go sm- that's, that's how they do it in those episodes. Yeah, but don't contaminate the fucking evidence. Well, yeah. I love, I love, like this is how bad DNA pl- testing wasn't a thing back then. So, like, so. there was a fucking contest to outsmart each other. One of the detectives and the dog, and the detective was losing seven to one. And I love that <laughs> this guy is responsible for finding out, the, you know, answers to the most difficult crimes where mm-hmm. there is no evidence, and yet he's routinely outsmarted by a fucking dog. <laughs> and none of his colleagues are like, maybe we should transfer him to a different division yeah they're like no we'll met the idiot the who, dog the we'll, dog it turns for the dog no no, no the dog was great it's the, the dog human gets, no the dog gets his own department you know no, it's the fucking human it's like all right you know that guy who can't outthink a fucking german shepherd like yeah yeah you know how he's responsible for solving crimes yeah <laughs> that seemed fine to you yeah fucking fine yeah, he's, he's i don't good. know what the problem is man <laughs> the, the dog seems to like him so yeah. we'll just keep him around <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. weird. So that guy was fun. I am the tree trunk and he's the bark, you know? It's going to be a long we night. Make, we <laughs> we're going to make it one night. tree. And yeah. then you had Steve Bannon. Oh, yeah. Steve Bannon was amazing in this so, one. So you had this fucking actor in there. He he's looks, the best actor in this one. Oh, by far. He looks like a cross between Steve Bannon and a catfish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He looks like Catfish Steve Bannon. Yeah. Yeah. Catfish Bannon is a great folk artist. And uh, Next to Seasick Steve and all those guys. Yeah, exactly. here we have like, Catfish. Fuck, fuck Cat Stevens. We got Catfish Bannon in here. <laughs> so much better. A little more political, but yeah, yeah. Uh, fun nonetheless. So, so he's this. The right is right. And it shows you how like. The name but that, that guy shows you how song, right? uncaring Austrians are. Oh, because yeah, you've yeah. got this old guy uh-huh. who's clearly been on the booze. Like, he's walking around with a bottle of kitchen cleaner Dude, in his pocket. He, yeah, why is he... Yeah, he doesn't work at the museum. He's no, no, just he's there. just, yeah, sloofing around. And he's just angry all the time because, one, there's people in the museum. That's a shocker. You and can't have the people in there. It's about the animals who yeah. are dead, yeah. yeah. And that's the thing. He wants everybody to be quiet to respect the peace of the fucking animals. So you got this crazy lunatic who hates people walking around yelling at everyone to be quiet so the dead, yeah. stuffed animals won't be bothered. And nobody thinks, maybe this guy is homeless and crazy. We should call the mental health experts. Nope. Nobody does nope. that. Nope. They're just like, oh, that's wacko Steve. He's just, yeah. he's, uh, he yells at people from time Mr. to time. Mr. Plattach is like a nice person. Your social care standards in the city are appalling. Yeah. <laughs> For the city with the best standard of living in the world, yeah. you fucking let some people slip through the cracks. Yeah, let me no, tell you that. No, they didn't. I mean, we don't go crazy about crazies. That's 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 the truth here. But right, but so he's he's not crazy enough. I think he's like, you know. How is that not crazy enough? He literally is talking to dead animals. He doesn't attack people and everything. He's just being a cunt. Yet. <laughs> you, think he, you think he's just reached the end of his crazy road and is going to keep it steady for the rest of his life? No, those motherfuckers escalate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he, he, he dips off the deep end. And One day somebody's going to talk to the bear and he's going to like feed it to the bear or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to oh, pull he's, out a bear yeah, tooth and stab him to death. Yeah, yeah, he's doing a full on, what is it, from Hannibal Lecter TV show. Like he's starting to make his own yeah. murder murder thing. He's going to come like, in. It would, it would, it would have been cool if, if we don't know that, but if in a future episode that character turns up again and he's yeah. like, 
like super crazy and now. This is uh, how fucking crazy. Again, the cop who kept getting outsmarted by the dog. Like, <laughs> yeah. he's the one who Moza, talks to yeah. the crazy guy. Yeah, yeah. And so he goes and like the crazy guy runs away from him. And yeah, he doesn't yeah. consider that suspicious behavior. Right. And yeah. then the crazy guy, like, he's like, hey, where were you? He's like, I didn't do it. And <laughs> ran away again. And again, <laughs> your dumbass cop, not suspicious. And then the guy, fl- and then fucking Steve Bannon tells him, I'm glad he's dead. And the cop's like, huh, what an interesting take on that scenario. Yeah, yeah. Not at some point, like, hey, maybe this, this guy's is, a fucking suspect. This might be, yeah, the suspect is, yeah, he, honestly, he's so suspicious, you know. Yeah, the, you the, could the, not be more suspicious. Yeah, no, it's the whole thing, you know, hiding in plain sight, basically. But that wasn't in plain sight. That, also, he didn't do it, which <laughs> makes it even more weird. Yeah, but that's the other thing, like. Like, he, he's like, I, I will I will try to make this uh, investigation the most difficult ever by being the most suspicious but not being the killer. But think about <laughs> think about how bad his boss is at his fucking job. Because when he when he came when 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 you, you Oh he got fired. When your dumbass comes in, he's like, Oh, I talked to some guy who was uh, in the same space as the, the victim and said he was glad he was dead and his boss was like, Is he a suspect? And he's like, No. No, 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 no. He checks out. <laughs> and, and, and then the boss is like, oh, yeah, fuck. Seems fair enough. Yeah. Like, what the... F- you're all incompetent. Also, the mobster it looked looked amazing. Yeah. You, you talked about the leather jacket, but he had the full outfit. Oh, with man, the he, slicked hair, back hair, he looked like and a, everything. He looked like Eric Bana had let himself go. He looked like a reject from... <laughs> That's like what happened to the members of... Off-broad, knockoff version of Greece. That's what he looked like. He looked like He looked like a greaser that didn't make it. It was more like a member of Menudo who never got out of that feeling. (laughs) 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 They just love the 80s and the tight jeans and the loose leather jackets. I'm sticking with it. It was horrible. I had to give up my chain. Why did he keep going back to the museum? That's what I understand. So, like... The, the actual killer, he's at the museum because he's left some diamonds there. Yeah. And he's there like four times. Also. And never gets the diamonds. Yeah. Also, just get somebody else. Yeah, just get get a kid. Just, yeah. Just be yeah. like, I'll give you 50 bucks. Go get this bag out of the back of a bear. Right. Kid exactly. Do. But even, why not get it on the first go? He just is like, oh, wow, I've committed a cr- crime. There's a bunch of police around here. Let me hang out a bunch. I mean, be- I mean, he killed the, the one dude that robbed. That's the first guy he killed. Is the yeah, guy yeah. he pushed off the, the yeah, ledge yeah, yeah. because he was so robbing after you with push him. the guy off and everyone's focused downstairs. Go steal your diamonds. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. It, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, at the end, he's like, they were so incompetent. Maybe look at yourself for a minute, buddy. You're not doing the crime game very good either. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's 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 it's. it's it's like there's not enough crime to actually train God. and in in Austria and the police is like oh I'm so rusty and, <laughs> and again there's so many fucking plot holes the last the last murder came up like two years ago I don't know how to do this anymore <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm out of practice man yeah but, it's like riding a bicycle you t- it takes some time to get used to it but, again but like this also bothered me the fucking the plot saying, right? the, the plot holes bothered me because like there's a scene when like another guy gets murdered and I've he goes yeah. to this photographer lady. He's like, I have to talk to you. And she's like, No, yeah, he's let's like, get a coffee. So, and then he grabs her. Let's get a coffee. And she's like, No, you fucking incel. And then he's like, All right, yeah, fair enough. And he walks off. And then he gets murdered. Uh-huh. So that's strange. I don't know why I need to talk to her. But then later, like they're looking for I mean, evidence. He, he must. He was one of the other robbers. But how did he know she had the diamonds? No, she. I think he suspected. I think he suspected because right. she worked so it, long in that room. Let me ask you this: You've gone to jail for three years. For sure. robbing two million dollars worth of diamonds, mm-hmm. you think this bitch has them? Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna her. confront her, and yeah. she's like, "No, I'm not gonna get tea with you." And you're like, "Yeah, fucking fair enough. What can yeah. I do?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's, it's like it's, I know I went to jail for three years, and this is my entire livelihood. But you know about those diamonds? She, <laughs> she doesn't want to have tea. It's like, what the fuck, guys? Yeah. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't make miracles happen. Yeah, and then he got stabbed to death. And then and you the, know, and, the, and the and the murderer too. Like he left. He recycled the fucking <laughs> <laughs> evidence. There, there's a fucking river. Why, why would you do that? But there then, was a river next to the trash can where he put the napkin in just throw the fucking napkin into the river but what did they do with that evidence nothing uh, no no they, 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 they gave it the, the, to the dog to, to lick and sniff it yeah, to but, contaminate that crime, crime uh, that evidence but they didn't use the f- he, but why did they need the napkin they already had the smell from the knife 
So they don't actually need that napkin. That's another step. They had the smell from the knife. Yeah. So he could have gone back in the museum and sniffed out right. where somebody was holding that. Right. Instead, they find this wonderful piece of forensic evidence. And right. they're like, oh, we just got a fucking napkin. I don't know what we're going to do yeah, with it. Yeah, it's, it's very... Like, it was not used at all in getting the killer. I mean, it's, it's, it's very much uh, Deus Ex Machina, but it's the dog. It's because he just smells so good. Yeah. And his, also, his sense of smell is even over the level of a normal dog. Like, he's he's the god sniffer of dogs. Man, he must have smelled a bunch of leather jackets in his time. <laughs> <laughs> I smell death everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I smell... I smell... <laughs> this is a tragedy. <laughs> yeah. I smell somebody banging five five kilometers away. Like, this make entire it, city that smells like That would have been really cool. Like, that would have... Okay, yeah. Um, I think we can skip cinematography and sound. There was none of that. There was, yeah, there was the no only thing that was fun about uh, the sound was the X Files type music at the beginning. Yeah, the dun, 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 dun. yeah. Uh, that, that, oh, something is afoot. But otherwise, nah, fuck it. Yeah, there's, but there's no the, sound to comment on. For the best moment, it was also in German, which I find grating on the ears. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Kidding, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The best moment I thought was. At the end, when they do the freeze frame... That was by far the best moment. He's like, I'm gonna bang you, yeah. and the dog's gonna watch. That, like, like he's, he's leaning down, he's like, do we have time, dog? Do we have time yeah, to, well, to, like, to get coffee with that nice lady and bang her? And yeah, you can he's watch. walking away from the hot dog, woman. Dog, you can operate the camera. Huh? He's walking away from the hot woman, and she's like, do you have time for a coffee? And then this fucking incel, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> dude, no, no, let no, me no. ask my he, dog. Dude, he's the opposite of an incel. Yeah, he I'm bangs sorry. so much in this show. In, in one of the episodes, as an undercover story, he bangs a naked police officer colleague on a beach hey, that's just that's just naked good. both of them it is beautiful i have to show that's you that. good undercover work okay <laughs> yeah. i'm sorry he's committed literally to the job. no covers so not undercover um <laughs> more like new the cover but i mean think about what this woman has to think like she's hot she's blonde she wears leather pants she's uh -huh. D, she's dtf and she talks to this guy and is like hey i'd like to say for tea which we all know is code word for sex in yeah, Austria, yeah, yeah, 1992. yeah yeah and his first reaction isn't, oh, yeah, that sounds great. It was, hold on, let me ask my fucking dog. <laughs> hey, my buddy. Partner, my partner, you know. I Can have I to... have tea with this blonde lady and the dog? I, it looked like a no to me. Yeah. The dog yeah, like, yeah. Mm. The, the dog, yeah, no, the dog is always cock blocking him. Yeah, too. the dog is like, I smell chlamydia. Yeah. Like, you get, I have a great sense <laughs> of smell. That is such a good uh, feature of a dog, though, as a buddy. Yeah, it's like, yeah, hey, go, he's go, like go sniff her pussy. He's like, <laughs> he's like, hmm. HPV and he's like, nah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I can't get that. <laughs> I, can, I, I can only be a carrier. I can only carry it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already got it. Really? I just, I, I just do the heavy. I do the heavy it's lifting like for a other people. Book, like, like cross referencing. Uh, if you already got it, free boxes, hepatitis C. <laughs> that was a that was a great skit on SNL years ago when Pierce Brosnan was on. Okay. And he was sitting in the doctor's room, and the doctor comes in and he's like, "Well, Mr. Bond, uh, we've mm. just got your test results back, and you banged too hard." He's like, "You've got a hundred and seven different venereal diseases, <laughs> <laughs> thirteen of which we've never even seen before." Nice. <laughs> She's like, "Yep, that's what you get when you're James Bond." Yeah, yeah. You gotta be. Don't don't do it. Just just move on. Uh -huh. Just walk away. Move yeah. on. <laughs> All right. So best moment was yeah. definitely the I don't, the freeze frame at the end or the homoerotic like a friendship when they're at the office and sitting at the desk. Oh, where well, like, they sit on the same desk yeah, together, the, the, really close. Yeah, to the each chief other. is like sitting at his desk, and your man. Uh, not a chief, but whatever. Yeah, what, what, the, the older, fatter guy. Yeah. Like he's sitting at the desk, and your man, like they don't have computers, so he just cozies on up next to him, and they're yeah, just sitting yeah, there. Like, up, yeah. Hey, look at all these murdered people. What are we gonna do about this? <laughs> <laughs> and it's crazy, and the, right? And, 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 yeah, yeah. And, hey, and look at that prank that dog is about to pull off. He's like first hiding in the cupboard. Oh my god, this is such a good prank, yeah. And then the the guy just opens up the door of the locker, his locker, looks in. The dog is there. He di doesn't see him. He Goes back, sees the dog. Ooh, the dog such won. A, yeah, such a good prank, bro. This is you this is that what guy was like part of some government program to get retarded people employed. I, I, oh, it clearly, for, had yeah, to, for a hundred percent. I mean, his, but if you're gonna his, have his that, his biggest his biggest accomplishment was. Uh, stringing up a ham sandwich like if a bologna you, sandwich i feel like if you're gonna have special needs people placed in jobs maybe the homicide division 
is not the best place for them. But they have such a detached feeling to the to the crime scene. Yeah, they can be really an analytical about it. Yeah, but it's because they I'm don't not, feel the humanity. Yeah, because they're off trying to get That's some fucking. That's the message tr- we want to give here. They're trying to get special, chocolate milk. Special needs people are not human. Uh, what? <laughs> it's just because they're not <laughs> investigating crimes. They're out there getting chocolate milk. Like even. <laughs> Even when he went on you the think fucking, it's chocolate milk. There was that second crime scene where the second dude got murdered, mm-hmm. and you retarded man. Like they wouldn't even <laughs> let him pass the. They w- <laughs> yeah, that that barrier. Yeah, he was standing <laughs> on the other. Like it's like all the he other cops to, know this had, guy's retarded. He had to wait yeah. with the dog. Like, like the <laughs> detective walks up and he just walks on through. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna cough all over the evidence. But the other guy's like, "I'm a cop too," and they're like, "No, you're well, yeah." I have a tiger on me. Yeah. And, like, you know, it's fine like if you're retarded, but bring some work ethic to the table. Yeah. Because they're like, well, this guy got murdered. Uh, maybe the the murderer dropped some evidence 100 meters away. And he was like, uh, oh, no, that's really far to look. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just oh. leave it unsolved, man. That'll be easier for all of us. <laughs> the dog ruse at the end. Have the, have the dog stand as an exhibition and have him. Oh, yeah. Brilliant detective work. Yeah, that, that's that's how you lay a trap. Just brilliant fucking detective by work. By making a dog sit in a glass booth for hours yeah, and hours to watch if someone comes, and the when dog you have another police officer right there also watching. Yes, how string tight budget is the Vienna police force it's like not hard. that's that's crazy underfunded <laughs> when the dog has to do surveillance work <laughs> to be fair though if I'm give if I'm given the choice between a stakeout or my dog I yeah. put my dog there every fucking day yeah you just push off that work to, yeah, to really, you, a, you do a literal beast of burden yeah I've got photographers to fuck over here I can't be uh, <laughs> I mean I'll somebody, come up. somebody has to make those dick pics back then like you know, a, I mean, I'll I'll text you for confirmation. Uh, somebody has to shoot those those peni- peniles, penis, penises, peni, peni in in a flattering light. Panasia. Panasia. Yeah, Panasia. that's. Panasia. See, Panasia. that's why I get that's why I get a native speaker in here. So, Panasia. Yeah, for the Panasian Panasian uh, people. The Panasian Peninsula. The pen- <laughs> <laughs> it's Florida. Everybody's dicks there. <laughs> It's just what Florida looks. Yeah. It was an oddly entertaining show, but yeah, it, right. It, I forgot how fucking slow old movies are and TV shows. Yeah, like, yeah. It's just slow. Yeah, like, every like, every it, scene goes the on. Photographer five, the photographer centi- five seconds longer than it has. to No, be. it goes on thirteen minutes longer than it has. To. Like the opening scene was her taking pictures uh-huh. for like three minutes. It's just I mean, a okay, lady no, at enough, a camera. Fair enough. That's that's to build tension. It doesn't lead anywhere. What, what tension was built? Again, that yeah, I know. What, what? That, no, that's bad script writing. But I mean, in general, I wouldn't mind that that scene if it would lead to somewhere. Yeah. But it didn't. It led to Steve Bannon getting mad about the animals being disturbed. Right. Yeah. But that's. And I really, mean, the whole point of that episode was Steve Bannon. He yeah. was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, he was a Steve Cannon in this one. Really, really shot it out of the park in with this one. <laughs> Honestly, that sounds like a 1970s cop show, Steve Cannon. Steve Cannon, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a loose cannon. Yeah. <laughs> it ju- he just Arthur. fucks a lot of people. He's a loose cannon. He, he just... <laughs> A Steve Bannon <laughs> cop show would be great. It would just Dude, end up it would be so good. He Obama be... did it every single time. <laughs> <laughs> this happened in Vietnam yeah. in 1943. Steve Bomber. is Obama. Obama. Bomber. He him Bomber. It would end up with him just like drunk yelling at squirrels in the park. Like every time. <laughs> hey, where are the, where's the buffer c- c- certificate? Where is it? Like, what are you where doing? What are you doing, Steve? I'm working on the case. Yeah, he's ta- <laughs> putting like nipple clamps oh. like on the on the squirrel, like tasering and waterboarding him. Like, tell me, tell me, where is it? Where? <laughs> yeah. What? What did you say? He's he's from. <laughs> he's African. Still better than Twilight. <laughs> uh, duh, yeah, I Still mean, better. Any, anything is better than Twilight. Every single role filled. In Twilight with Steve Bannon would be better than Steve, uh, Twilight. And what was your name of like uh, shitty Brendan Fraser? In in the movie or in real life? Wait, what's his name in the movie? Moser is his last name. And the, the, the what's Richard the, Richard Moser. And so he was like a famous guy around here. Oh, he's still famous. Yeah. Like he, he he's got a lot of early man in his DNA. You know, he's oh, got yeah, lumpy yeah, yeah. brows. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. no. There, there's some, there's some. Um, <laughs> there's Does some, he live in Vienna? Uh, nowadays I 
do think so, yeah. Or sometimes in Salzburg when oh, he has like at the at the festival there. And we're stuff talking like about that. a dude here. That's nice. Maybe yeah. we'll bump into him tonight. <laughs> sure, huh. sure. He he's gonna hey, show up at. Uh, he's got nothing better to do. <laughs> Dude, his again, dog's dead. Again, all right. That was ninety-two. German shepherds don't live that long. Apparently, he gets still like a five-figure paycheck every year from the airing rights God, from that show. They're still watching that. Yeah, in Japan, the Japanese are super into it's it. It's because they're all thinking about eating that dog's dick and fucking it afterwards. With their bogogi Look at restaurants this or whatever. Look Austrians living, letting the dog live. Interesting, like, yeah. They know the dog why, is dead, why I right? I the Japanese and uh, a weird German accent. Yeah, that was I Christopher know. Waltz is Japanese. You're like Mr. <laughs> Mr. Moto. You're Mr. Moto all over Mr. again. Mr. Moto knew. Dude, dude, let's make a remake of Mr. Moto with Christopher Waltz playing a Japanese, a Japanese person. I think you could do it. That would, it would be, be hilarious. Ra- racist as fuck. Mr. Moto. <laughs> Just with umlauts. With the umlauts all yeah. over it, Mr. Mütte. <laughs> Mr. Mütte. It's like an uh, an Austrian Jap who goes to metal concerts. Mr. Mütte. <laughs> <laughs> uh, re- rest in peace, Lemmy. Rest in peace. Yes, yes. I, I, I. We, we all feel the same. Yeah, that was, was a good, good band. That was a good guy, man. But Boaterhead was great. They had Ace yeah. of Spades, and he's a fucking alcoholic. Right, for a second, I had Boaterhead, but the Boaterhead. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds like it's fronted by a guy named Chad. Who yeah, has yeah, a yeah, yeah. Clive, Clive, Clive is 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 the backup singer in at at <laughs> Boaterhead. <laughs> so, so, what's our conclusion on Commissar Rex? Um. Oh, we didn't have the secret category. Oh, yet. what's the secret category? Smuggling diamonds. Any better way? anus every day yeah right yeah we we yeah. talked about that why why, why put is, it in the why put it in the fucking why put it in a sack in a, a little in a bear that makes no sense like if you rob swallow, swallow those diamonds like if you shit them out collect I mean, them in prison and just keep them in your butt yeah, you that, can shove them up again <laughs> it's already lubricated with shit just that's a good whoop, point whoop, that's a good whoop. point no but, uh, just make a like a like a what don't is they it know called? like museum like exhibits? a lazy susan of, of of diamonds with your butthole like the <laughs> <laughs> Who, uh, that um, might be the dumbest <laughs> or the most ingenious thing I've heard in quite a while. <laughs> it's one of those. The lazy Susan of buttholes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the dry, a diamond smuggling lazy Susan. All right. If I smuggle two million, or let's say, all right, you, yeah, yeah. we go downtown right now. Yeah, that's we we, we rob. Shit ton of diamonds, right? Yeah, you don't know tell you, everybody our plan. On, you, on, 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 I'm just saying, on hypo- I'm saying hypothetically, millions of people are listening to yeah. Hypo- hypothetically. Mm-hmm. We go downtown, yeah, you know, in 12 hours you're getting arrested, right? All right, and you know you're gonna go to jail for three years. Uh huh. What do you do with your diamonds? Well, the I mean, yeah, first move would be swallow if if I don't, okay, no, but don't, okay, do I have a ride or die chick? No, you can't give it to a person. Uh, okay, that's yeah. that's out of the yeah, picture. No, no, you you have to figure out a way to keep them somewhere. Okay, all right. Yeah, swallow. Yeah, definitely. Or but then you got to deal with them in prison all the time. You're subject to room dude, raids. It's Austrian prison. Still, it's Austrian prison. Nah, I don't think it. It's so nice here. What happens if you get diarrhea and just fucking squirts it? Oh, right? okay. Yeah, no. The, 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 they only have to serve shitty Chinese food once yeah, in those three years, and you're fucked. Yeah. That's true. That's and true. And you got a cellmate here, shit yeah. rattling around in the toilet. He's yeah, like, no, "What's that?" He strangles you. Right, 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 right. I mean, it's it's a sack of diamonds. So, how many how many hours did you say? You got twelve hours. Is it a work day? <laughs> You're going to jail in twelve hours. Why do you care if it's a work day? No, because then, <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I can open up a PO box in that time and throw those diamonds in that PO box. Yeah, but then they would know, like, they would be able to check the identity that the PO box was opened on. See, that's, that's not what how it works in Austria. There's something called Bankgeheimnis in Austria. Oh no, there's something called know your customer, and if the customer opens a bank account under suspicious circumstances, it's an international banking regulation. The police do have a right to check it. Yeah, if but you they have that, to find out that you actually opened that. on t- back then in the nineties. They didn't have a bank. No, but we're talking about right now. Oh, in 2018. Yeah, we're, we're in two hours. We're oh, going to go steal some okay. diamonds. We okay, got 12 okay. hours. I get 12 hours. Okay. Uh, easy. Buy a drone. Attach that stuff to the drone. Fly it up somewhere where nobody checks and for the three years. And then where does nobody check? Rooftop? You're going to leave it up there? Mm. They got maintenance men. You got workers. I guess I would hide it in that bear. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. I think I would go to the, a toy store and I would find Black Barbie. Because I know fucking nobody buys it here in Austria. Put that in there. (laughs) 
three years later, same spot. And then you have that one American couple who comes to visit. Oh, and those they're motherfuckers. Like, and they buy up all the Barbies and you're like, motherfucker. Now you have to go to Florida and kill a person to get that black Barbie back. See, finally, a it's black person that is worth something. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't, do, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't pull back off on that racist Bobby joke. I'm pretty sure I have to pull back on that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, what else could you do yeah, with the diamonds? I mean, you could. Uh, what you could do is also because you can't leave it in your house. You're right. Yeah, they search your house. They search your yard. You you can't. Yeah. I mean, you could always go like into the uh, Viennese uh, forest, the Vienna forest, and just bury it under some tree there. That seems safe enough. Chances you remember it's not taken down though. Dude, it's get a burner phone, pin the location on the burner phone with GPS, and just. But the battery's not gonna last for. Yeah. Oh, but you could on GPS. But don't you think yeah. they'd fucking check that? I don't know, man. Yeah, they check that. There's you no way so? they yeah, check yeah. a digital footprint. Ah, okay. You'd have to come up with something somewhere you can put it, mm. where you know it's not going to be touched for three years. But that's a, it's actually a really good. Fucking. I guess I guess your grandma's pussy should be a good mm, place. No, she's gonna, <laughs> she, she, she plays with that all the time. She ah, find, she's gonna find it. Like she's, she's gonna like, find them. Why does it like there's loves, a jingle down there? She loves diamonds. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. <laughs> that pussy is precious now. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about be bedazzled. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or bejazzled, is that yeah, what it's bejazzled. called? Yeah, Talk it's about bejazzled. bejazzled. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, fuck it. And this is bothering me. Yeah. Try, I, oh, I, pussy. I guess forest is probably your best option. Forest, right, still. What about like some castle or something? You go middle of the night, you find I mean, a brick. I mean, 12 hours, you can go to like in the middle of nowhere in Upper Austria and actually hide it in a castle. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's like Just in a suit no. of armor or something. No, because exhibits move. I think the smart thing is you find a castle. That was the problem with this episode because yeah. of the fucking... The latest point, actually, that, that plan didn't work was when the, when the, when the fucking guy show, the guys yeah. showed up and they were like, oh, we have to move that to the taxidermist to check yeah, up yeah. on that bear statue. That guy would have found it at the latest point. So even and the cops at that point were not like, hey, maybe the taxidermists are involved. They're like, oh, no, you're just cleaners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe yeah. ask him a question. That's all. No, yeah, yeah. That was, that was super lazy of them, yeah. No, I think the smart thing is right. You, yeah. you find a castle. Mm -hmm. All right. You go to this fucking castle. Right. And they have walls. Right. You know. Yeah. yeah. And the walls go underneath the ground. Yeah, they have to. Yeah. So you find, you, you dig up a little bit of earth, you know. And then you had it you in there. You break out the, the fucking, uh, you break out the, the, the brick, mm -hmm. put them in there, put the brick, brick back, back with, with a little bit of cement, and then put the, the dirt back over it. That's pretty good, too, because you definitely remember that. Yeah. And, at the best moment, you do it at night because yeah, nobody yeah. checks up on those exactly, castles exactly. at night, except for that one horny couple that you have to kill. Then, oh fucking, they 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 earned that. They earned the right to die when they did that in public. <laughs> you think you you should kill some? You should be able to kill somebody if they bang in in public. I feel like you ought to be able. You to never have you never p banged in public. Yeah, of course. Wait, of course you never did. Or no, of, of course, course you banged did. in public. Yeah. yeah, where? Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! There's so many. Church? Most, no, I never did in a church. I did in a church, uh, did in a church parking lot. Uh, <laughs> church adjacent. Yeah, church adjacent. <laughs> Next, <laughs> 667, uh, the, the, the shopping, devil's neighbor. I've done in shopping center. Done on a bus. Yeah, good, good. Uh, a changing room in a in a clothing store? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times, right? I also did it in, an, in where they just hang the clothes. Like It was a corner. Nobody was there. Oh, wow. Why not? Bold. Yeah, I did on. You just on those jeans? Yeah, on a train. Yeah, on a train. Yep, you got to train. You got to train. Uh, airplane only played Stink Finger. Never actually had sex. Same here. Never went to the Mile High Club. Yeah, that's what they called, right? Yeah, I know. I'm just th thinking how we went from hiding diamonds to hiding dicks on public transportation. It is fairly I feel like, similar. I feel like everybody <laughs> in 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 the requirements. It has to. I feel like the world would be a better place if everybody could kill someone once. Like, if you had that right. So, like, the perch light. Yeah, basically. It's like, you know, everyone has the right to kill one person once. Uh-huh. Yeah. Then you'd be then, nice yeah. with everybody. Oh, definitely. Because somebody has, like, yeah. I still have that freebie. Yeah. I still have that freebie. And you wouldn't know. 
Yeah. You know, you could bullshit people all day. Yeah. You could kill someone when you're eight. No, no, no. I think it has to be like a badge or something where t- you, you're green. No, because you're still, then, you're still able to kill. And when it turned red, you're no, like, no, no, oh, be- that guy already killed somebody. No, because then you can, you just can be- kill them mercilessly. No, but, but then you can just be a dick to people. It's like, well, he can't kill me now. Like the whole point uh, of making society better. Okay, it's, yeah, it's, it's the ambiguity yeah. of it. All right, all the, right. The police just got to check the records. And be like, no, I just you, wanted to make a crueler yeah. society. You actually wanted yeah, to make I, a nice it, society. It'd be, it'd be better. <laughs> You'd just be nicer to everybody. Like. Also, it's not good for an Austrian to talk about badges, yeah. period. <laughs> I mean, we already let people have abortions. This is just moving it a little step further. Yeah, adult <laughs> abortions. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. You should have been aborted 30 years ago, but I'm going to do it now. God. Something along those lines. <laughs> It would make presidential elections so much more interesting. It'd be like so many people oh, would use the hook. There'd be yeah. fucking no one running for office. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking never. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you find out like the guy, the guy who, who you're running with is like, yeah. he already had a kill. Yeah, yeah. When he was like 16 or something like that. Oh, and his family ran not over happy somebody. About that. And, and no, no, and, no, no. And, and then, and then the, the, the other, the, the other runner finds out about that. And he's like, let's, Let's wait until the last moment. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then, like, the, the words are in. He, you lost. And he's like, no, I didn't. And then just keep stabbing the dude <laughs> until like, he like, bleeds it, out. There never would have been an Obama if we all had one free kill. It's like the day he's You're sworn sure? in, everybody would. Yeah, the day. No, wait, 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 he okay, wouldn't wait, have wait, run. Wait, okay, wait. How does the free kill work? Do you have to work for it? Or is no, it just you, you say, I want to kill that dude. And yeah. then the state says, okay, no, I guess you so. you kill someone. And if that's your first one. There you go. Okay, but he would have been in like uh, since he was a uh, running. No, but thing. he wouldn't have run. Is my point. <laughs> oh, there, you think there would have been just somebody so racist that he's like, I'm gonna somebody. Use the, There'd I'm, be I'm fifty gonna. million using it on that guy. Okay, like right. at his inauguration, just bullets opening. <laughs> he just, comes out in a tank. Yeah, it would have looked. It would look like you know. It would look he like in those fucking. Up, he rolls out with an M1 uh, A1 Abrams no. tank and he's like, <laughs> shoots into the crowd. And I'm like, this was preemptive. No, it would this look like preemptive. you know when you have those movies like in Roman times when people would unleash the crossbows and like the right. sky is just fucking black. Yeah, in like, 300, that's what it, something yeah, like that. That's yeah, what yeah. it would have looked like in <laughs> Obama's <laughs> inauguration. <laughs> just fucking everybody firing. Like we'd never I mean, have that. I mean, it would. It, but then it, Trump wouldn't be a problem either. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, well, the problem is who leads us. Like who's left. Yeah, that's the thing. No one would run for office. Like, yeah. nobody. No president. I mean... It, I wouldn't do stand-up comedy. Honestly, it, it, it just, <laughs> <laughs> You think somebody would have been so mad and whatnot, and he's you, like, you, I'm going to use my free you one. You get an older guy in there, he's like, fuck it, oh, I'm Oh, yeah, yeah, it. he was yeah. never used, there and he's go. like, I'm 85, I don't, well, didn't like that joke, like... yeah. I'm gonna you made stand. a joke about old people. I'm gonna go up stage on stage, and uh, are you still allowed to defend yourself if somebody tries to kill you? Oh yeah, I mean they got to do it. Okay, so yeah, they're yeah. still. It's like if you do it, then and you're it's off the first free. time, then you're fine. You're off scot free. Yeah, okay. that that was your one. I mean, if you do it and then like I kill you in self defense, that's it, a self defense argument, not a murder. Honestly, it would though make mass murders so much more, uh, like, let's call it, let's call them uncaught mass yeah. murders because in any given time and point in life you have probably a hundred people enough running around being mm. mass murderers and nobody oh, no, knows you, you would still figure it out though like you, you you'd still have to like if somebody gets murdered you still got to investigate the case and find out who did it no, no 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 that's not what i'm what i'm saying is if if you're a mass murderer and you're like okay it's only like nobody caught me so far i can i just keep going Oh. And at some point, they're going to catch me on one. Yeah. And I'm just going to say, oh, no, that was my free one. And yeah. then you're off and you can keep keep murdering. Yeah. So. Gives them a little leeway. Yeah. <laughs> a little leeway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give, give, give the mass murderers a little leeway. That's what our society needs. I can imagine, like, talking with detectives, like, we well, you know you did this. Yeah, do you know I also did any other? And, and also, I mean, don't I don't want to poke holes in your perfect society model over there. perfect society. Yeah, There's no holes to poke in perfection. Yeah. <laughs> just a good goal. The truth them. can stand up yeah. to scrutiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an erect dick of justice. No, but uh, d- d- doesn't, doesn't <laughs> that also open the door of somebody, ooh, Ooh, I killed somebody. That felt nice. Sure. I'm going to do it again, even though it's against the law now. Sure. Okay. Okay, cool. Hap- it can happen. Okay. You know. It's not like you're just breeding a generation of But you got to be murders. careful with it, because if you kill someone and get away with it, I can kill you. Like, you kill my buddy. Yeah. 
I'm and, not, I, and I, I and you get away with it. Yeah, but I'm not happy about it. I'm yeah. not killing anybody. It, like, so it's a whole blood feud thing yeah, at yeah, that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. you got to you got to weigh it's up like your dominoes. options. It's like dominoes. One yeah. one kicks over the you're next. You're not going to be going killing people all willy nilly. Like you're going to need a good reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you you're going to savor that one. Yeah, it's like that guy you know murdered your family, or mm. that guy's a Jew. You know, you need a fucking <laughs> strong reason to do this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you, I choose choo, choo, choose you to murder. Yeah, you can't just be doling it dude, out, dude. And also, honestly, I have to think about a really good one-liner if I off somebody in that case. Like, I have to make it count. You yeah, know? yeah. Because if you get, you could fucking film it. Like, if you, get you can with it, make yeah, a yeah. whole production, out of, dude. That would be, MTV would make a reality TV show out of it uh, so fast. But who wants to be a murderer? You could still be done for things like torture. I think it's important to say, like, you can shoot somebody in the head. But if like you torture them, you can still no, go no, to jail for torture. No, no, that, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, that's uncruel. Uh, that's it's uncruel. Cruel, it's cruel, <laughs> uncruel yeah. behavior. Cruel yeah, behavior. Yeah. yeah, that's cruel and unhuman behavior. Yeah, that's cruel, inhumane, inhumane, unhuman is something else. That's, that's just not a human. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, we got to wrap this bitch up though. I got to get going. Yeah, we both have to. Yeah, we got the yeah. show. Final conclusion. What do you What do you recommend, Commissar Rex? What do you watch more? I, w- I under the influence, I'd watch another one. Uh-huh. It was yeah. like entertaining enough for entertainment purposes. No, for critical purposes, yeah. Like, oh, okay. It's, it's a fun show to make fun of. You will be back. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll watch another Commissar Rex. It's a fun show to make fun of. Oh yeah, uh, where can people find you? Plugs. Uh, Instagram. If they didn't listen to last yeah, week's you didn't episode. Yeah, the last one. Uh, Facebook, Alan Henderson, the comedy show or the comedy uh, page is jokes on you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Do shows all over Eastern Europe. He's an amazing guy, guys. And uh, Instagram, you can find me. It's not Alan. Cool pictures of photography and cool stories about comedy. So good. Thank you, man. Thank you, Alan, for being here. Thank Um, you, buddy. Glad we did this. Double tapping this. Man, it's been so long to actually get here and do one. It was good to like stack them up. Yeah, yeah. We were we had some build up and we had to release that in one big explosion of comedy. Oh my god. Um, (laughs) We had to penetrate that barrier. All right, guys. uh, Thank you for for listening in and having a good time with the two of us. And uh, subscribe to my stuff, of course. It's all in the description below. Also, follow my brother who has. Uh, now on Instagram he makes all the art for, for, for my podcast ah, cool, all cool, the drawn cool. stuff is from my brother so Very cool. yeah, yeah I commission art for every single episode and he is really good at it it's, it's it, working out that's yeah. awesome yeah so if you want to have some commissioned art just uh, text him under the link below and have a great night guys cool bye